Oh my goodness. Oh, I need to go through these things and reorganize them, obviously. Good morning, guys. Good morning. We're hanging out. It's what a about Ollie? rainy you day. Ollie oh, morning? Ollie, did you want to say good morning to the people? Did you say good morning? Good morning. Happy rainy day from Massachusetts. Bum bonesy. Hey, buddy. Look at this delicious dinner we're having. Oh, yeah. It's the leftovers from our coconut curry chicken we made yesterday, and it's so good. I think it's better the second day. Yeah, you think good. so too? Um, maybe, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just as good today as yesterday to me, but yeah. Well, good morning again. <laughs> Peter had a nap because he was super tired. And then I went upstairs and I was just like, I don't know what I did. I don't know if I was like taking medicines. For some reason I was on the bed. And then I was laying down on the bed because I wasn't like feeling too great. <coughs> and then I fell asleep. So. It is still so sunny outside. It's funny, it's been raining like crazy today. And then sunny, raining, sunny. <coughs> but anyway, I think, yeah, he left. <coughs> Peter went um, out to study for tomorrow and I'm gonna try to do some organizing up in the guest closet but really it's my medicine closet <coughs> so let's go up there and see if we can make some progress oh my goodness oh okay so medical stuff medical stuff IVIG other stuff all the medical stuff so I need to go through these things and reorganize them obviously so that's what I'm gonna work on but the good news is earlier Peter hooked up the VHS player to this TV in the guest room okay maybe it's a little bit janky but hey it works there's the VHS player and I have a ton of VHS tapes down in the basement but I have two up here, so I'll just watch the one I have up here. Woohoo! 90s! It takes two. Mary Kate and Ashley. Sounds like a plan to me. <laughs> and welcome back to the 90s, and welcome to my childhood. And I'm so excited and if you have ever watched movies from the 90s let's give this video a thumbs up and we will all <laughs> share our wonderful 90s memories in the comments but until then I am going to be working in that closet while listening to amazing 90s movie let's see what year this was 95 or 96. I don't know. Either 95 or 96. Either way, it was a good year. <laughs> and this, the lines across the screen, that is just part of it. A good part of it. So.
Hey guys, I'm back home. Did you tell him I was out? While I was out, it was the weirdest thing. It was like raining and sunny all at the same time. And then all of a sudden I look out the window and there was a double rainbow, like full double rainbow from, you could see both sides of it. So I took the drone up and I think I captured, I'm getting, I'm actually importing the footage right now. So here's what I captured. gonna eat his dinner here. What's the Mary girl doing? I'm washing my dishes. I finished. I'll take you guys up when I go to show you the closet, the guest closet. Whew, finally. Did you do work on that? I finally did That's it. been like the kind of put stuff in there closet. Well, and I get new medicine shipments, like, or IVIG shipments anyway. Yeah. And they send all new stuff and extras and then it all just piles up so i yeah. just needed to go through it and resort it and rearrange some things so oh my goodness i have so many sharps containers i wish i could like donate them somewhere but i'll just keep them and use them once i need them yeah i mean i have like three of them that are open and three or four that are not open Woo. There's that. But it makes me really grateful for having them, you know, yeah. like medical supplies. Totally. Because I yeah. I know that there are some many places where they are short on medical supplies. So anyway, I will happily store all of my sharks containers. But I finally was able to communicate to my IV company I do not need any more. Please don't send any more Sharps containers. Because so. if you think about it at like max when she's using, when she's on IVs, it's once, you know, or I guess sometimes you might have like an issue where you have like two needles a week or something. But like, it takes a while to fill up a Sharps container. The only, yeah, I mean, unless I was on, when I'm on antibiotics that I have to mix. Yes. That's that. more needles, but even so. Those are tiny. Yeah. So, I don't know. And I guess they always, they're wanting you to make sure you can dispose of them properly, which yes. I guess is good. That but is good. Anyways. How was your nap? Oh, I had a good nap. I, um, yeah, I was, I was worn out. I got up early this morning uh, to get work done, and then, I don't know. I just, uh, I needed a nap today, so that was good. It gave me energy, and then I went out and finished up my sermon. That's awesome. Yeah. Hey, I did not get a fever today. That's good. And that's really good. And you didn't yesterday, right? Uh, just barely. Just barely? Yeah. Okay. My breathing was, like, I wonder if labored. It yeah. But. I wonder if it was, like recovering from, like those few days we're recovering from like last weekend was a really busy weekend and then we went to Newport on Monday I don't know if that was could be but yeah. anyways I guess we'll see what this week holds there's no rhyme or reason to figure out if it's yeah a foreshadowing of the infection to come or payback for previous things Whatever. As they say, time will tell. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here is the closet. I have art supplies and then medical supplies. <laughs> and more medical supplies. But yeah, and I just 
have these little um, sticker, like chalkboard sticker labels that I wrote with chalk on and it's already rubbing off. So that's, you know, whatever. <laughs> anyway, so there's my little progress for the night. One, two, there's another one, two or three back there. And then boxed ones up here. And then the medications that were in that closet, I'm gonna take those into the bedroom and organize the um, that green cart that I used to have my vest on. I haven't had my vest on it recently. I have my vest on like a different stool thing. So anyway, I am, I was just thinking how I'm grateful that my lungs, so earlier today, like when I was laying down sleeping or before I was sleeping, I guess, and after I was sleeping, my heart rate was up. And um, if if you are somebody whose body does that to you and your heart rate goes up when your body's fighting hard, you know what I mean? Like, it just was like racing and I was checking my oxygen because that was hanging a little bit lower than it usually does as well. So like my body was just like labored breathing kind of. Um, so as I was laying in bed, kind of thinking like, I don't know, maybe this is all I'm going to be able to do is lay in bed. But, <clears throat> but alas, I was able to get up and I'm glad to have that closet organized now. So that is good. But if you find yourself in bed, not able to get up, I am cheering for, for you. And I'm hoping that you can find purpose in whatever you are able to do today, even if that's just breathing or taking your medications or whatever it is. And as I say that, I'm hopeful that it will also sink into my brain that on the days when I'm not able to breathe or when I'm not able to get out of bed and all I can do is breathe, that I can find purpose in that as well. So we just gotta keep on going, friends. Okay, now I'm down by this medical cart. So I think what I'm gonna do, I moved my vest out. I just moved it back here. I think I'm gonna sit here and do my vest by my trash can mm. and organize, um, I think so. And I was thinking the last few months, how my lungs have been more stable. The infection is still there. So the, the symptoms of infection, like low grade fever and dark mucus and coughing and elevated heart rate and like things like your body's still fighting, those are still there because the infection's still there. But with more stable lungs, like since my lungs have been more stable, at least for me, my body is able to like catch up more. But hold on, I think it might just be a matter of my body being more used to, it was about three years ago that my lung function dropped um, into the like range that it's in right now. And then it dropped more and then it came back up to this range where I'm at right now. I think when it first dropped, my body wasn't used to it. And now I'm more used to it. Um, my lungs are used to breathing with less capacity and my body's used to functioning off of less capacity. So I don't know, obviously I don't know. I'm just thinking. So anyway, those are my thoughts. And I ripped up all of my other ones for a refill whenever my bag runs out. it's your big debut because people don't like it when we don't show you enough oh are you gonna tell them all the things okay what do you want to tell the people about do you want to have story time with Oliver tell us about how you're so cute how just how do you do it I mean like your nose do you do anything to make it so pink and cute <coughs> and your curls like is that natural <laughs> 
I love how he's just staring. Yeah, what is up, Ollie boy? So thanks for watching, guys, and being part of our story. And as, as always, always, we, we will, will see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good, Good night. night. <laughs> I turned off the camera and Mary informs me that she did a montage of VHS. <laughs> So if you enjoyed that montage, 